this on yet. No, it's fine. We are chatting and we've had some ups and downs for the day, but I, we've both been very productive, I feel like, within the chaos. So much chaos. Why? Let me tell you. Why? Why? Who? Where? What? That's the vibe. But Lauren is more famous now. Oh my god, I'm a celebrity. Aunt. She has gained like 20k in like the past couple days, and it it's been a lot of energy. So, lots of things happening all at one time, and my brain cannot handle this much success and excitement and joy and terror and life. And yeah, I did yoga as you saw, and I was not very well. I am not well. Uh, my muscles are not doing too hot. Whole pile of laundry that I'm just trying to muster up the energy to fucking fold. I have been watching the Nexium, The Vow, part two, and I am almost fully done. We did be binging, like five hour long episodes. Um, that's a lot of energy. Um, throwback to a couple years ago, we watched the first season and um, we went through the landmark debacle and it was quite a journey. I was texting Lauren live updates, uh, like, oh my god, you won't believe what they said to this kid. And I was like, yeah, I could have told you that. I'm just stressed because I have a client call, and it's great. We're really making progress on this project. Um, Miss Ma'am has a normal job, 9 to 5, so I have to meet with her, like, outside of my typical hours, which is totally fine. I can accommodate. Um, but it's Monday and we usually do our grocery shopping for the week and like it's just kind of throwing me off my groove for the week um, But I'm getting a lot of stuff done and I really hope I can maybe like button this up kind of quickly so I can go to Trader Joe's so all right, we are home from Trader Joe's we are living our best life and we got lots of good stuff for the week. Just gonna do like a little overhead haul so you can just see everything. We're gonna try this hearty minestrone soup with grilled cheese. Also gonna try this jalapeno cheddar pull apart bread. That looks so good. And then we're also gonna try this new tomato burrata ravioli. Ravioloni. Ravioloni, what is that? Ra Looks like ravioli to me. That is so weird. Okay, I thought I was tripping out because I'm exhausted. I was so productive today. My brain is like absolutely fried. So I was like, am I like not well? Anyway, so good. Looks really good. Got some of these multi-grain waffles to try out. This also looked fire. The flakes and strawberry cereal. And then we got lots of good stuff. Some salad packs. More of these delicious sesame sticks that we love more yogurts, more veggies. The ravioli is gonna go with this. It's a red pepper and almond pesto sauce. Looks pretty good. And then the heirloom tomatoes, I'm gonna make some toast out of. Um, Paige Jenna on TikTok, the queen who taught me the pasta sauce from scratch. I'm gonna do her little delicious toast recipe. And then I'm gonna make stuffed peppers. So we got lots of peppers. I'm gonna make double, so we have them for like two nights. And then we're gonna have some burgers and fries. We also got this, a jalapeno seasoned corn and rice puffs. Haven't tried them yet. And then we also tried um, this new snack here, the spicy porkless plant-based snack rinds. They're kind of like pork rinds, but they're pea and rice. So pretty good. I also picked up some veggies and some Go Macro bars. That's the best one, by the way. This uh, Smooth Sanctuary is by far the best flavor, but I'm kind of stocking up on lots. And got some pinto beans for the stuffed peppers. Lots of goodness. So this is our little haul. We're going to eat dinner and just relax, but I was so productive. I got so much done. What a Monday. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I am just getting ready. I took a body shower and I'm just feeling very ready for the day. I'm also recording a business day in my life in addition to my 75 soft challenge. I have two meetings, one with my accountant and a strategy meeting for a client. And that's about it for me. Um, also, Starbucks just unveiled their new like cinnamon bun cold foam, uh, cold brew. So I am about to go get that. Oh my God, my call went so good yesterday about the website. 
Um, she's so happy and we also simplified some things so it's not gonna be as much work for both of us, which I'm very happy about. We're very stressy about shipping and taxes because she's shipping internationally. So I think we're gonna do to avoid like shipping carrier issues is to just work in like a larger dollar amount into her product and then have the shipping be free in effect, um, which is what a lot of brands do. Our hotel gal sent me a new link. I think they had some work done in the back end. Um, so we had a new link for our hotel block for guests. So that was a little bit uh, not annoying, but just kind of like really bro. Like I just sent this out to everyone. It's kind of inconvenient, but I went and messaged my entire crew with the new link. It was like, hey guys. And what sucks is like, I don't know who has RSVP'd unless they've told me or like signed up. So I only know about my friend. So I was like, okay, she doesn't need to know. But like, I have not heard from any of my family that they have in fact done it. So I was like, I guess I'm gonna be annoying and have to like tell them everything. You know, so much wedding stuff is happening. And uh, I'm just gonna be honest, it makes it really apparent who is there for you and who is interested in helping you out, you know? It makes your alliances like really obvious and those who don't care as much, very apparent. Oh my gosh, you guys, what a day. My accounting meeting went great. We chatted about the wedding a little bit. I love them so much. They're just the best. Um, taxes are looking good, looking on track to like meet what I did last year. So that is reassuring. I won't have a ton to like pay off to the IRS. And then um, it's a beautiful sunny day. So I'm gonna go for a walk soon. I also had a crazy strategy call. Um, there is so much drama going on. Um, just business crisis things and I just need to help her get through it. It'll be totally fine. Um, but one of my clients is going to need kind of an immediate rebrand um, and it's just kind of a lot. So tackling that, I've looped in my graphic designer um, and we are gonna get this show on the road and get it done. But that was a lot, so I just need some fresh air. I need to just regroup. Um, I've only had a macro bar for breakfast, so I'm gonna make some toast when I get home, but I'm gonna go get the new um, cinnamon latte thingy cold brew um, from Starbucks and it's beautifully sunny right now blue skies so I'm gonna go I don't know what temperature it is 47 it's warming up so I'm gonna go for a little walk and come back home and get into work I have kind of a lighter workload thankfully I don't have like too much going on um, but I want to get that done and um, just kind of work away at some things. I'm going to prep a newsletter for a client before I go and then I have to come back and do the rest. But so far so good. Very successful Tuesday. Oh my gosh, you guys. I got this cinnamon cold brew. I will try it on camera for you. I'm also going to record a TikTok for my first reaction. Um, these heirloom tomatoes, I'm so excited about this. So I was watching Paige on TikTok as per usual and she made this heavenly looking heirloom tomato cottage cheese situation. She also used the pesto olive spread, I think from Trader Joe's. I couldn't find that yesterday. It, I think it's new and I don't think our little Olympia Trader Joe's has it. It's probably just like where she is in California. I can't take myself seriously I'm vlogging. They are doing like a crane on the house today. It is so loud across the street. It's literally like 20 feet from my house. Like it's not, it's a lot of energy. I mentioned earlier the client call. It was also kind of like the last month of our work together. So it was like a renewal call as well. And I'm so glad even in the midst of everything that's happening with them, they're still resigning. And I'm just so happy. Like obviously I proved my value. Like I'm needed more than ever right now. Um, and I'm just, I'm so happy. Like I have such good clients who just like truly get it. I spent so many years just dealing with like one off, like six month contracts that never resigned because these people were not very like savvy actual business owners. Like they don't understand like the value of having a social media person. They think they can do it themselves. Um, and you know, just never really worked out because they just didn't take it seriously. Um, and these people are like, 
the same caliber, like single business owners. Um, and they're just a great fit because they truly get my vibe and they get what I'm about. That's a little bit of a thick slice. It's a thick boy, not gonna lie. I think we're gonna do grilled cheese soup and salad for dinner tonight. So stoked about this. So it doesn't have like the saltiness and the flavor of the cream cheese, obviously. Um, but I'm gonna add on some salt and pepper and hopefully that'll just do the trick. Look how beautiful. Now let's try this cold brew. While everyone's jackhammering and shit next door. Well friends, we have it. Cinnamon caramel cream cold brew. I'm so excited. Oh, this is the best thing ever. Wow. It is so good. Like I could have this and actually fulfill like a cinnamon bun craving. If you like the more nuttier stuff, I would just say stick to the pistachio, the Irish cream. Um, but if you like it, it's not like overly sweet like the pumpkin spice, obviously. Their cold brews are not gonna be as intense. I'd recommend this, but definitely like for someone who likes a sweet taste and you have to like cinnamon. It definitely is like cinnamon forward, cinnamon heavy. This is so good. Like 10 out of 10, 100%, like 10 out of 10, solid. It's dinner time, we made the pull apart jalapeno bread. Hopefully this will be really good. And then we did grilled cheese and the hearty minestrone soup from Trader Joe's. Delicious looking meal. Hello, happy Wednesday. I am getting ready to go get my nails done in about an hour. I have just some stuff that I gotta get done before in terms of like editing videos and writing some social posts for clients. Just wanna make sure everything is taken care of here before I head out and about. Um, I want to surprise Jared tonight. I have been thinking about this for the past couple days. He mentioned that thing you do, the movie, to Lauren um, and I. He like sent a meme in our group chat. And I always knew like it's his favorite movie pretty much. And as we know, we are all Tom Hanks stands in this household. Um, and there's an extended cut apparently that neither of us have ever seen and i wanted to just do like a cute little like midweek hangout with him uh just to do something nice and romantic and sweet so um i kind of sneakily he has no idea i kind of sneakily um asked him like because i saw this girl on tiktok who literally just went to the movie theater to buy popcorn and leave like she just purchased it and left um i didn't know that was a thing but at cinemark which is where jared used to work they have a thing called a pack and pop where it's like this ginormous bag of movie theater popcorn and it's in a sealed like plastic bag and you can just like take it home with you um and i'm obsessed by that so i think i might go and get one and then go get movie theater candy so i kind of told him like Oh, you know, I would totally do it. She did. Like, I'm craving it. But he has no idea, like, why. Um, and I want to, like, surprise him. Oh, my God. I would get, like, movie theater candy, too, if we ever went. And I was like, what are your favorite kinds? <laughs> Just to, like, refresh my memory of what he likes. I know he's a big Reese's Pieces fan. Um, and he likes Sour Patch Kids. But he also said Bunch of Crunch, which I would never have known for him. So I wanted to just kind of like refresh my memory before I went. Um, but I'm gonna go and stock up on candy, get a pack and pop, and I'm gonna be just right across the mall anyway, seeing Tatiana. So I think I'm gonna walk the mall <laughs> as my exercise for today. And then we're gonna grab a pack a pot and it's gonna be lovely. I'm hoping he like appreciates the thoughtfulness and thinks it's nice. We'll have stuffed peppers. I'm gonna make those around probably like 4 30 start on those so they're ready when he gets home and then um yeah have all our movie theater stuff laid out watch that after dinner i have not decided on my <laughs> nail design i'm doing toes and fingers today so probably like a plain white on my toes and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do Hello friends, it's later. These are the nails. I went with this like really cutesy little squiggly line and just black. 
I was able to score the pack and pop from Cinemark. It was so funny. This person like just packs it full and then the other person drizzles the butter over and just it continues. So iconic. Um, all three of his fave snacks were there um, for the candy. These, these, he got this for us for Christmas. Little matching popcorn bowls. So I'll probably fill them once we get a little closer. I have some client work to do until he's home and I, until I have to start dinner and everything. So we're gonna do that. I'm gonna have this avocado and hash browns. That's like Lauren's favorite thing to do. This is the finished product. Little hard boiled eggs. Ah, oh, hash brown toast. So good. Oh my god you guys okay look at my cute little setup look how ginormous that thing is that's the pack a pop cinemark shout out i had no idea that was a thing i have been missing out and then his favorites are reese's uh sour patch and bunch of crunch and then i'm a huge red vines whore so got those as well hopefully he likes this like i said i'll probably put the popcorn in the little bins but Hopefully he thinks this is like a thoughtful idea. All right, we got them stuffed. Now they go in for another like 13 minutes and just get all golden and creamy with the cheese. It's gonna be so good. I was gonna put feta in here by the way and I forgot. So we're just doing lots of the Mexican blend on top. Typically I think I do mozzarella, but this'll do. Okay, we're waiting here for his reaction. How embarrassing would that be if he was like sitting in his car scrolling on TikTok? I would die. We go have a movie night and watch that thing you do, the extended cut. I have had this thought since Monday. Since so I was creepily asking you last night. That's why you were asking me. Oh I was like, God. oh my God, I saw this TikTok of this girl awesome. and I'm kind of craving movie theater popcorn. I didn't know about the pack of pop though. So you really done saved your girl. Wait. <laughs> no, I'm about Thank you. Are you excited? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> okay, yay! Is this the excited cut or how do you find it? We have to buy it. It's 15 bucks. Whatever, it's your favorite movie. <laughs> it is my favorite movie. <laughs> for my like music knowledge or love for music. Love yeah, for I told music. I told I'm making a TikTok and I told the TikTok that. Yeah. But I haven't I don't think I told the vlog that. And I literally like wanted uh shades and drumsticks to one of the That's iconic. Turned out so yummy. Of course, lots of cilantro to top it. La Victoria. Daisy Light Sour Cream. Jared's excited for our movie night. <laughs> Hello friends, happy Thursday. I just made a delicious uh, breakfast burrito. I used some of the leftover like filling from last night that we're not gonna eat and I repurposed it with two scrambled eggs and I put some jalapenos on top, some Mexican blend cheese um, and just rolled it up in a tortilla. So good. I also had a big presentation. Well, I didn't present, but the first of two presentations I present next week, my mentor presented this week. Um, she went over, this is for like a government city, um, agency, whatever, institution. So um, she presented like city best practices for social media use. And then next week I present just social media in general, where the trends are headed and how we can capitalize on them. So that was very interesting and fun. Um, I've been on like one of these before. I've done like something like this similar, but it's like a group of 20 people. Um, and yeah, it's like quite a lot of energy, but it's really good and it's fine. It's less intimidating than I would think. So we're going to be fine. I've done presentations in person and online before, um, but it's like been a little while. I'm a little rusty, so I got to get better, uh, sharpen my chops here, but yeah, things are good. Um, I'm gonna hop into work now. I started on some social media posts for like a project for my mentor and then I also need to do some research for her and then I have a website to kind of do some edits on. But pretty good Thursday and this is it. There's nothing else in my day, so feeling pretty good about that. I'm on my, uh, one of my trans <laughs> debate streams. Uh, that'll keep me company whilst I get going in my day. I have some reels to post and edit and all of that. So that's next up. Ooh, this lighting is better. Um, anyway, I also wanted to share that we heard back from our wedding designer and hopefully we'll hear from her like today or tomorrow. She has our proposal almost finalized and she just had some clarifying questions yesterday. So I sent those over and I'm so excited to see her initial ideas. I just feel like they're going to be so good. 
and I just can't wait. So I sent her some ideas of mine. I didn't want to like be emailing her a ton of stuff, like whenever. So I just figured I would kind of like table some of my ideas until we got the proposal from her and like kind of see where like our dollar amount is at. But I feel pretty good, so I shared some things with her. I'm very excited to like get the ball rolling and so much is happening in the next few weeks, so. I'm so happy. Good morning, happy Friday. I have one call here in about half an hour with my mentor slash client, and I'm gonna plan my presentation slides. Um, so glad it went so well yesterday. I'm excited to do mine. I have some ideas flowing. Um, also, our designer delivered our whole proposal uh, for the wedding, so I will go over that. We don't do like a overview so you can kind of like see the design process i'll do that later um but for now i need to edit some videos and get ready for the day the sun is shining and i'm just going to have a meeting get that done and then i need to do a workout hence the attire here I have my little shorts i haven't worn these shorts in so long a uh, little biker shorts and i'm going to do a whole situation I wanna do like some Pilates and then also like a cardio thing because I have been slacking this week and I wanna kinda pick it up again. Um, also, I'm ice rolling. It's probably like no point to doing this when you just put your like moisturizer on, but it's fine. Also, the dermatology office that I've been working with has been trying to get me in for like a diamond glow facial and my schedule has not <laughs> lined up with any of their cancellations because basically like, um, there's a whole arrangement there where like it has to be cancellation basis um, for like employees and stuff like that so um, yeah we'll see if I can manage that I'm sure we'll figure something out but uh, for now I'm just ice rolling and the rehearsal dinner they had shipped me yeah these are right they had shipped me ribbons before and I was like come again oh, a little sticky two black balloons these are the giant ones and I am getting helium because I have to live my life okay we also have a bridal subscription box the ring boxes i'm so excited this one also does not have a guide maybe they just like didn't make guides for everything or they like discontinued that i got vendor thank you cards envelopes like these shiny envelopes oh that's cute this one says thank you for marrying us oh my battery's about to die thank you for capturing our big day oh my god these are adorable i'm totally gonna use these I'm diseasing. Let me just show you what else. Uh, tips for tipping your vendors. Funny they should say that, love that. We got another jewelry box, let's see what it is. Hey you guys, my camera battery died as I was doing my ring boxes, so. Let me just show you, make sure you saw everything. I showed you the thank you cards. It's so cute, they're all personalized, so like for each person, each vendor. Definitely going to be using these. I am obsessed, this is like so useful. This is one of my probably favorite things from this box. Then I got this tips for tipping that tells you kind of like how much to tip. I was just thinking like a percentage to each person, but interesting. And then I got two little pens, very cute. And then I got this beautiful ring. It's just a silver ring that says love. Very cute. And I think I can just like 
all you can wear it on any ring it's kind of like a midi ring on me um but i think it's gonna be very cute not really a silver gal anymore i used to be like for most of my life but um and then this is a t-shirt that says bride it's in pink not really my style i'll probably just re-gift it to a friend but um super cute but i'm obsessed like i love those thank you notes that's like the highlight for sure and the ring i do like the ring too um we got a delivery i wanted to share with you we got our true fru i made a purchase i have been obsessed with these they are the best like easy quick healthy dessert snack type thing so we got a lot <laughs> maya told me about this banana and peanut butter one and i had to and i am a sucker for anything elvis Banana and peanut butter is my jam. Banana and peanut butter uh, milkshakes are my favorite, so I know I'm gonna like this. I got two of these because I know I'm gonna go through them. And then uh, Lauren had gifted me this. That's how I figured out about them. I think she did a brand deal with them. And she sent me the raspberries white and milk chocolate. So I ordered the dark chocolate version, just a little bit healthier. And so it has like a coating of white and then the dark around it. Also got the blueberry. Maya said these are pretty good too. Kind of similar to the raspberry. I love cherries. So I think this would be good for like the summertime. Cherries are always, you know, a vibe. And then I'm very interested and intrigued by this one. This is the pina colada. It's white chocolate and coconut with uh, pineapple. So I think we need to do a little taste test of all of these. These are the little pina colada ones. Mm. Wow. I'm gonna have a brain freeze. Okay, blueberry. Mm. It's a vibe. I like super flavorful, but I mean, it's fresh fruit. Oh, wow. These are ginormous. I'm gonna do cherry first. Get it out of the way. Whoa. Ooh. Those are some tangy cherries. These are ginormous. They're like pucks. Okay. Oh my. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? That's all you could ask for. These two are my favorite, the pina colada and the banana peanut butter. Um, I think in general, I like the raspberry too. Those three are like my faves. I'll probably reorder those. Could go without the blueberry and cherry, but they're still good. Kind of depends like what you like. But these aren't like overly sweet and the peanut butter is not sweet. It's like an organic peanut butter probably. It doesn't have like a jiff, like sugary taste to it or anything. Wow, love it. All right, we are making our food for dinner. We last night got invited to uh, my friend Mandy's stepkids performance at a little theater. So Jared is whipping us up air fryer burgers and I'm gonna make a little salad. All right, I'm gonna do this little Caesar salad kit. So good, we're gonna eat this up and then we're gonna head downtown. We have like 20 minutes before we have to head out. I figured I would just let you know something that I kind of want to work on. It's been a long time coming, but we don't have like any organized like file tracking system. Um, I just have like tons of stuff in here. Um, this one's pretty clean actually. There's nothing much on this side here, but I have so many just like documents and stuff that are they're like semi-organized like for example, tax docs, I have like a whole like manila envelope of things, but I just need to like sort them out better. And I think this would be a great project, a pretty quick one, but a great project for the weekend um, because I do have a desk over in our office room. And I think it would be cool to eventually have like a space in there. I think if I had like a drawer in there, and I could organize everything more clearly. Um, I have lots of manuals, like random things. So um, putting like all the manuals in one area, um, like this is a 1099 from a client. So organizing them then by year too. 
For now, I think I'll just put them in like the piles of what they are. What I wanna do is I wanna go in and buy um, folders, just like, you know, folded folders um, to keep them all within the drawer, all nice and clean. They can just be like stacked. They don't need to be like the ones that like hang over the drawer. I think my drawers are a little too small. Um, so we'll have to do some measurements, but first things first, I'm just going to write down what they are. So I'll probably just, I don't have too many ta tax documents, so I'll probably put like 1099s in with everything else, so. And then I also have like some receipts for things, um, insurance things that I've purchased, kind of whatever, whatever works. There are also just like certain things that I don't need to keep anymore, so. PT provider's card. Um, and then I also have some fun documents. My dad made like a fire log of his time in the forest service. So like just keepsake, like important documents. He did like a journal where he like shared some of his journal writings. I'll have like a parent file as well. And then we have some envelopes still, just free envelopes we can use. Oh, and then I was gonna fill out a directive in case something were to ever happen to me. friends happy saturday i know you've seen clips already from today we decided to do a little olive garden um you know what's a weekend if it doesn't have a little takeout um we are cooking for my dad tomorrow my parents are coming over so i wanted to get my little fix tonight i've been craving it for like a couple weeks so um we decided to get this we went for a 40 minute walk 45 minute walk took out the trash and uh, put Goodwill bags in my car. I tidied up, kind of like cleaned around the house. I filmed like half of that um, from earlier. So, and I got tons of client work done. This has been a very productive Saturday. Um, but yeah, that's my update. Hello friends, update from the bed. This has not happened in quite some time. I just was feeling, I finished editing the vlog. That's what I just did. I just edited the vlog. Why did I show you that? I don't know. Um, and I have just felt like the vlog content like is fine. It's still quality. I'm still updating you here and there. But like I feel like I'm not like fully updating you on like what's coming up. And especially like wedding updates, like where we're at, things I've solidified lately. So this is going to be like the full recap. Of what's going on um and just kind of like gearing you up for some things that are gonna happen so it is coming weekend a week from today um my bestie kayla and i are going on an adventure and i think it's like our first overnight like girls trip just the two of us and i'm so excited uh, I think we deserve just like some quality time um, and we have so many fun things that I'll of course take you along for and I'm just so excited for that we're staying in a super like bougie um, Hyatt and it has like a spa and like everything so lots of fun like relaxation hopefully that's gonna occur and then um, we have a really jam-packed wedding week um, the week after I return so um, 
I'm just trying to like stay afloat for all of that, but I'm very, very excited. So um, once I return from uh, seeing Kayla, about like a week break and then like six days after that, we are going to pick up our cake tasting kit. She's just being very safe with COVID and um, I think she also like schedules these dates. So she has like zero waste in terms of like her baking, like her kitchen. Um, so I'm assuming like other couples pick up like during this time window like us um and then we all get to take it home and just have a cute little like date night thing um and taste her delicious cake so I'm so excited um if you don't know I kind of amended our dessert I don't know that I've ever shared that actually I don't think I've shared like many nitty-gritty details of what we're doing but um our cake designer is just so incredible and she also makes delicious like cinnamon buns um she calls them sweet buns and then also like spiced cider donuts and they are such a hit they're like raving reviews they're very famous locally um and i am just so obsessed we were like okay in case like not everyone wants cake and like we were gonna do like a kitchen sheet cake and like only like a little sweetheart cake it's like a two-tier cake for us and we we're like mm, no let's just like make more variety and like obviously like her work is great with everything so let's give them like the true experience um of her business so um, we wanted to get a little bit of everything. So we're going to be doing that. Obviously we've already tasted those and then I've hired her for multiple occasions, um, in the past few years. So I've tasted lots of like different flavors, um, that she's done, but I'm not a chocolate person and Jared is definitely more of a chocolate sweet tooth. So I'm letting him like do the full cake flavor direction. Um, I'm just not a big sweet tooth girly and I'm not a big cake girly. So he's going to take that on. I'm sure he'll do a great job. And then um, we are like on the same page as far as like the cake design goes. So we're gonna be working together um, and like we have the same vision. So I'll just send her like inspo pics and like work she's done in the past that I like really connect with. Um, so that's gonna be very exciting. And then two days later, we go to Portland again. If you don't know, we're getting married in Portland. Um, and we meet with our hotel that we're staying at like the whole crew is staying in a room block And then we're meeting with our like sales rep our direct contact um, And we're gonna do a walkthrough of our rehearsal dinner space It's an event space within the hotel and just like go through the finalized details and just be able to visualize it and then um an hour later, we hop over to a local tavern and do our menu tasting for the dinner at the wedding um, with our caterer. So I'm very, very excited. So much is going on. And then next week, like coming up in a couple days, I hop on the first design call with our designer for the wedding. And she did deliver her stuff. So that leads me into my next clip here. Um, now that I've kind of caught you up to speed, I'm going to just show you the current state of where we're at we finalized the mood board i know i showed you guys that in a past vlog i showed you where it was when she first delivered it and then where it was after the edits were made um so that was finalized and then what she does just in case like you're curious about the process um obviously i'm making like blog post recaps of all of these vendors um and i'm like making their names very public so not trying to like gatekeep you know the good girlies don't gatekeep um and i will definitely like give you names if you are like local in the area and you want to work with them um but our designer is so incredible um her name is cassie and she's been so receptive to like every edit i have um she's really sweet and just a fantastic eye our overall aesthetic is really similar um and i'm just really receptive to like her new ideas that i would not have thought of so like we're using leather as like a core fabric and i never thought to do that um and i'm really happy that ours is not like there are going to be elements that are like basic or like trendy but um there's like a lot that like most people won't have and so i think that's really cool um and i love how like my favorite parts of weddings not that I've been to many, but um, just in terms of like wedding content and things I see online, my favorite thing about weddings is like how sentimental um, people can get with their weddings and like the fun like live performances and speeches. Kill me, I'm a speeches gal. Um, and I love just like the sentimentality and like the things that are unique to the couple that make the wedding day like so special. It's not just the florals or, you know, like the cute stuff and like the fabrics. It's more like what they're doing. Like, are they doing things in their ceremony? Are they having like live music at all? Um, what's on their guest book table? Like things like that 
is just my favorite thing. So um, we're going to do a lot of fun stuff. We have multiple things lined up, like honoring our heritage, each of our heritages, plural. Um, and we have things like honoring like family members who are there. And we're going to have like a memory wall. Um, I know that's not unique, but a memory wall like in our cocktail area with like framed photos of our loved ones who've passed on which I do think that delivery is quite unique I think some people have like tables you know or like reserved seats or whatever um, in their place but I haven't seen like a gallery wall kind of like with mix match frames and stuff so I'm very excited about that we're doing a huge thing in our ceremony that's quite unique it's an African tradition honoring his black heritage and he has like black family members in attendance so um, it's very unique and it's worked in to kind of like part of the vows. So it's just going to be so good. I really wanted to incorporate some sort of thing like paying homage to my Latinx heritage, being Latina, half Mexican. So I have my Mexican friend and her family doing a really magical like first dance performance. So we have lots going on and it's really stressful because it's a lot to coordinate. Um, but I mean... I'm just so lucky to have like an amazing friend group and family group that's willing to do all of this for us so so much to come i hope that kind of gives you like a taste for what's happening um but now i can't believe i've only been talking for nine minutes it's very impressive good job Catherine. um now i'm gonna like not waste any more of your time and i'm gonna show you kind of the design proposal so I think my ADD just took us in a different direction. Okay, so circling back, once Cassie nails down the mood board with you and has the inspiration kind of on the right track, then she goes in and uh, gets quotes from like the florists and the rental companies because she's the designer. So she like sets up and tears down and facilitates all of like the visual or design element vendors. Luckily, our catering company also works with the rental companies, so I think we'll have it like streamlined and just under them. And then any like accent furniture or like a rug, for example, would just be facilitated through Cassie. So um, it's really cool. And like I've said before, in like different places that I produce content, it's really unique because Cassie is a co-manager of the venue. So it's not required and she doesn't come with the venue. She has her own like business where she's a contractor a designer but she's very intimately aware of the venue and its limitations and like how to set up like she's very aware of the space and she's a manager so i just thought that was like a nice perk we went into it like not thinking about hiring a designer i thought like we were gonna have to do it all ourselves so she's literally like i would say i know like videography photography catering like they're up there they are core people and they're the people who i put most of my money into because i wanted like quality people but i will say i'm feeling like the dj and the designer will be like the people who really come in clutch for us and like literally execute the entire event and make sure it's seamless so just a godsend i'm so happy to have cassie so it's turning out really well and i can't wait to show you so I'm gonna have to get a little sneaky because our wedding date is on a lot of this stuff So I'm gonna kind of just show you a very zoomed in version. So this is the color palette that we decided on Tapered candlestick. She also creates these by hand. She's so creative um, And then this is kind of a general vibe So like our rust napkin will stick out with like the brass flatware and the black plate um, and just seeing it all like come together through her whole proposal here is incredible. This is like top secret knowledge, you guys. I'm really letting you in. So we're going to do like a hanging arbor for our ceremony space. I am so excited. We haven't nailed down the exact um, size yet or like what we want to approach it with, but this is actually in our venue. So it's the exact thing that will be set up. It will have like the hanging, do you call them like Edison bulbs or whatever? Um, it has the hanging bulbs. Um, we'll do black wood folding chairs, which we were in between like a darker wood or just a black color. And Cassie really pulled it together with her vision. I see why we're doing black now. Then we'll do some sort of a uh, welcome sign. And I'm not sure if we'll do any blooms, but we'll see what happens. Um, but that sort of 
size, um, pretty large, generous welcome sign. And our guest book will basically just be this little pine table with some votives, and it will be like pretty understated. I also want a place to put like any cards that guests might bring. We'll also do like maybe like fun interactive things here aside from the guest book. Like I really like the idea of a jar that's like make a wish for the couple or something like that. And we're gonna do like bistro, like standing room tables for the cocktail area. And then we're also getting these pieces of furniture complimentary with the venue and then she's thinking about renting this kind of rug which is so funny this exact rug almost is like my lead hero image for all of my business branding she really hit the nail on the head it's like my favorite type of rug so I really like that and then the gallery wall will be above the couch I believe for the memorial wall we're gonna do this beautiful situation here um, I don't love these candlesticks, so I'll show you kind of like how it turns out eventually, but the brass flatware, the black plate, and then like long tapered candles. Um, we'll have the rust napkin like by the plate. Uh, we're going to do these long farm tables for the dining area. And then she's thinking of like some sort of leather like place cards um, that are like keepsakes because we're not going to waste time on goodie bags. I don't think anybody cares. Um, so we're going to talk through that. <laughs> we have lots of different options. We've also talked about like using leather on like table numbers or something else. So I'm very excited to see how that all works. This is where we get into some dates. So I am going to have to blur. These are the two mock-ups she was suggesting either a single freestanding sign or like a sign with some leather. I think we're leaning towards this one. It is also more cost effective. I don't think we need like an extra thing. So it won't say our story. It will be a different design. These are our other designs that she suggested. Um, so those were up for consideration. And then I think this is the one that we're leaning towards, specifically this one. I'm blurring out um, part of the date here, but um, I'm very excited. I think it's very sleek and it gets the point across and then we don't have to come up with more content for the Our Story piece. Okay, this is a concept piece that I want near the ceremony. Um, I think she just like messed up saving her file because it, like the text is like really messed up. Um, I know she didn't intend to do this, so I think this is an accident. Um, it was kind of a lot. Um, there's different phrases of this phrase, but I want pick a seat, not a side. You're loved by both the groom and bride. So I think some people say pick a seat either side. So it's kind of like messed up here and then um, like something got repeated, but it's totally fine. Um, I'll just clarify that in our design meeting, but we're um, leaning towards this one. We really like how it's like not center justified and stacked. We like how it's kind of more creative um, and I really like how it incorporates more of the burgundy, whereas the welcome sign when they first come in will have more of the green and the beige. And then as far as um, signage goes, there's like a bar menu that will be like standing on a wooden stand. And then we will talk through like a bigger menu at the buffet. We've talked about like having like bride and groom like hanging leather pieces off of our chairs at our sweetheart table just so they stand out and are fun to photograph. And then potentially like this whole situation with the table numbers. Her idea she had for dessert, kind of like these like risers and like mix match sizes of plates. I really like this. I think this is unique. I have not seen this very much um, and it's also more cost effective. We also could do like donuts on little like stands here like stacked. So I'm very very excited by all of like her innovative thoughts. And then she just makes the next sheet is like the estimated cost for everything all together. So she just like puts it in like a breakdown. So that's what we have right now. And then she also sent over the floral quotes within that email, but they're separate. Um, and one of the florists, I think we're leaning towards her. Um, her last name is also Kaufman. I thought that was really funny and just kind of meant to be. Um, and she really hit it out of the park. So Cassie reached out to her for a quote. She created just like a word document, but she personally addressed us like dear Catherine and Jared. I'm so, you know, thankful for you considering me. Um, and the other florist was just kind of like a generic thing from their website. 
um, making a quote. So I think it just went the extra mile. And even though it's not like as fancy as the other florist, it really like stuck out because it was more personable. Um, and she was like really willing to work with us and like took her time to literally add like photo examples in like that matched our inspiration boards on Pinterest. Um, and then quoted for like each element. So like, you know, bridal bouquet, bridal flower crown, hanging arbor, um, like string garland, like all the things. And then um, she says, if I want to move forward, then she goes in and pulls like the color palette and then presents exactly what types of blooms she would use. So I really feel good about her. She seems pretty like organized. And then I went to her Instagram and like the first thing in her bio is like an inclusivity statement um, with like the rainbow flag and like other things, you know. So I was like, okay, this is good. Um, so I'm feeling good, so we'll see what happens, but I chat with Cassie, like, this coming Tuesday. Um, I'm very, very excited to get to know everything and kind of tell her, like, these are things that we might not really love, these are things that we love, love, most of it we love, but, um, I'm excited to just nail it down, and I think, like, having an accurate depiction of, like, how much it's gonna cost is gonna be really helpful, too, so that is that. I also paid the deposit for our bachelorette space, and we're working on the menu right now, so so many fun things are happening, and I will definitely try to be better about giving you guys, like, more of an overview, because I know you guys like that. Not everyone has time to, like, catch every TikTok update, so having the review here is pretty helpful, I think, so hope you enjoyed. I will see you tomorrow. Hello friends. Happy Sunday. We are going to tidy up the place. That is what's on our Sunday agenda. We're also making dinner for my dad when he comes over. Um, but we need to get the place prepped for pest control. They are doing our preventative treatment tomorrow um, on Monday. So we have to like make sure furniture is like pulled away from the baseboards where they spray. Um, and so there's some furniture I need help lifting and all of that usually it's like pretty easy um and then we like to really get up by the baseboards with like a wet swiffer um and just like really get all the grime off before they like lay treatment again so we're gonna go ahead and do that jared's gonna vacuum i'm going to wet swiffer um the wood floors and then um we have to do my shower snake in my drain again. I don't know what's going on, but the little shower covers that I bought work for sinks, but they don't work for my bathtub. So I'm gonna have to find a new one on Amazon, but Jared is so nice and he deals with all that grossness um, that I create. <laughs> um, get you a man. Uh, so that's on our agenda and then we have our grocery shop for the week and I need to pick up my pill prescription for birth control. So, um, we're going to go to two places, Trader Joe's and then Hagen, our local grocery store. So lots of good stuff. Hopefully that we'll find. We are home. This is our haul from Hagen. I lined up our recipes for the week and we got some snacks as well to hold us over. Tonight we are cooking for my dad, as I've mentioned a couple times. We love this Cucina Fresca uh, brand, this pear and gorgonzola he really liked last time. And then I'm trying their fresh sauce. We just really have some hard misses with canned sauces, so hopefully this will be good. It was like on the expensive side, um, so hopefully it'll be fire. Then we're going to make our own crunch wraps at home. So Jared thought it'd be cool to get the actual Taco Bell seasoning. We were looking for our fave jalapenos, but this is all they had, and I'm a little concerned. I love me some dill pickle. This is all for me. Jared does not like it. So uh, we each got like our choice of chips. And then tostadas and tortillas for the crunch wrap. Just some plain popcorn. I love these veggie straws. Love me some daisy sour cream, especially in this squeeze tube. It's just so much easier. Stocked up on cold brew, and then we're making garlic bread with the pasta tonight. And then, oh, some pretzels too. Yep. All right, and then from Trader Joe's, I got some wild arugula. This is my fave for like putting on toast. 
Got two of their Caesar Salad Organic Salad Kits. Got some asparagus and bell pepper for our veggies of the week. Also got some cucumber. Strawberries, apparently. The checker said they're really good right now, and they look beautiful and red. Then I got some sockeye salmon fillets for myself. We uh, stocked up on Jared's frozen chicken as well. And then, you guys, these hash browns are a hot commodity. So we <laughs> stocked up on two because I swear they're only stocked on Sundays, and then they sell out. They had, like, half of their inventory, like, already gone by, like, 1130. Uh, we've been loving the latkes and the air fryer. They're super good, so we got those. Some more milk. I'm going to try this new salmon rub. I know I've seen it there before. For, but I haven't tried it. Also, beautiful blue color. We love the branding. Um, I got some black beans for our crunch wraps, more yogurts. We were out of olive oil, so we stocked up on that. My favorite rosemary bread. This is Jared's favorite, just regular whole wheat sandwich bread. And then this week we're trying the Harvest Chili. It looks pretty good. Black beans, squashes, pumpkins, you know. Should be pretty good, so we'll do grilled cheese with that. These are also from Hagen. Um, we get them typically at Trader Joe's, but um, they don't have all the flavors, and they have like all the flavors at Hagen. So I am trying this lemon and lemon one. It may be pretty intense, but it looks good. And then this one, the prolonged power is banana and almond butter, and you can't beat that. Oh, and I also forgot, we got some fruits and more veggies here. Much later on, my parents should be here in about 15 minutes. And we're making the pasta and the salad. We're doing the harvest apple walnut salad thing. So good. This is like my favorite other than just the plain Caesar. I decided to just do like a pre-made grocery garlic bread. RuPaul and Trixie spoon and <clears throat> serving tongs or whatever. Lots to talk about tonight. Gotta show them how our wedding design is shaking out. I just have some things to run by my mom. Accounting related stuff. Lots of stuff going on. Then we've got to catch up on RuPaul. Oh, and then we have to reserve a room for the wedding for a guest. So, lots of stuff. Ta-da! Super easy. Oh my word, friends. What a lovely Sunday night. My parents just left and I have been getting so many wedding things done. I emailed our um, photographer, videographer, and went through like the menu for my bachelorette with my mom while she was here. We just kind of went through the whole proposal um, from Cassie and we're on a great trajectory. I talked to her in a couple days, as I mentioned, so I'm very, very excited for that. I will obviously take you guys along for every step of the way, so. Be sure you are dialed in for that Monday notification that the new vlog has arrived. It's going to be an amazing one next week. I'm so, so excited. So stay tuned and I will see you guys next Monday. Bye.